Yo, 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 what's up everybody? What is going on? But we'll jump right into it. Say what's up to everybody first. I have an update on the Christy Giles and Hilda Cabrales Arzola case. As you guys know, I've been following this case since it happened back in um, November. I am going to take take you guys back into uh, a little bit into the timeline, how it happened. Finally, David Pierce, he's being charged or he was charged a couple of days ago. So I'm giving you guys the update. And for the people that are not familiar with the case of the two friends, Christy Giles and Hilda, Hilda Cabrales Arzola, may they rest in peace, rest in paradise. My condolences go out to, to their loved ones, to, to the family of Christy Giles and the family of Hilda Cabrales Arzola. It was two friends that went out uh, to, to party. It was actually three friends. It was three friends that uh, initially went out to party to meet up with some friends. And they never made it back home, you know. They ne never made it back home. Uh, the following day, their body was discovered at um, different hospitals. They were being their their lifeless body was was dumped outside um, two different hospitals. One, actually, Christy Giles, Hilda Cabrales Arzola, she uh, she was still she was still alive, and they had her there on a life support. And, but eventually, and sadly, and luckily, she she passed away. I've been trying to find the case. I've been trying to find the, the court case, the whole um, trial, the videos, and I wasn't able to find find anything uh, on the internet. And finally, I was able to get a hold of part of some videos. But um, let me go over here and start up with the news. All right, so here goes the update. Finally, justice is coming. The family rejoices as LA producer uh, is charged with the murdering model H24 and architect friend 26. The Hollywood producer has been charged, so now he is officially charged uh, because before on the court date that he had that I talked about um, previously, he was being charged with other cases, other allegations and accusations. Uh, of other victims that um, he he allegedly abused, or you know, now you know he was charged actually to you know he was responsible according to the articles. David Pierce uh, has been charged with the murders of a model and her friend architect who were found dumped uh, unconscious at separate hospitals. David Pierce was initially arrested in December. So here we go. Yeah. So this is the court date that when he was arrested back in December on suspicion of manslaughter. And now the Los Angeles District Attorney has um, Attorney's Office has formally charged. So is it is official that he is charged with murdering Christy Giles and Hilda Cabrales Arzola, according to Los Angeles Times. So yeah, this was very sad, man. Um, how they were just dumped. Christy Giles was found on the sidewalk of the Southern California Hospital in Culver City in November 13th, 2021. She died short term later and was determined to be an overdose and as you guys know later i think within a week i, I felt very sad because you know i've been following this case so uh, when i i saw the news i got the news update of the passing of Hilda marcela cabrales uh, it was very sad you know both deaths of course you know made the rest in pieces it's a tra tragedy but uh within the time as i got familiar with the case i felt very sad because uh, i think hilda they um they she was in life support so they disconnected her uh the day before uh, of her birthday um and um she was a good person man she um she was a donor and the father said you know that they she 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 um donated her or organs before you know um the whole thing she was a donor and she was going to help a lot of people so it was very sad um so, yeah, so a few hours after, you know, um, Christy Giles was dumped, her friend, Ilda Arcella, uh, Arsola, was left at Kaiser, West Los Angeles. So it was within miles that they got drop, dropped off or dumped. She remained in a coma until she died November 24th uh, from organ failure. So she, she died from organ failure and into intoxication from cocaine, MDMA, and possibly other drugs. Their deaths were ruled as drug-induced homicides. Very sad, man. Uh, this case was uh, 
it was a whole it had everybody in shock you know and everybody you know wondering what happened because it, it was a it was a, a, a news that developed little by little and little by little more details started coming about um but when this happened it was just in the beginning you know people only knew we only knew that it was two um two females that they were found you know first they found found some you know when they found christy uh, everybody you know got the news that you know this woman had um has been dumped you know and there's surveillance video which there were surveillance video of uh the man uh i think it was two or three men um that they're seen dumping the body of of christy giles then later on uh within within a couple of hours um you guys know twitter and and the whole internet is just uh you know you get the information quick so you know you you uh, got the news. People got the news. You know, I received the news that another woman was, uh, was dumped uh, at a different hospital. So when that happened, I guess the, the authorities or the people that were investigating, they put one and one together and turned out that they were friends. So that's when, when they released the news later on saying that actually the, 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 um, the two females were related to each other. They were friends. Um, and they were also two both uh, seen on video being dumped by 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 a um, couple of men in masks. Every that, that freaked out a lot of people. That that got me, you know. Um, they're freaking out for, for 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 a while, and then with more information, more details um, came about. You know. Um, friends like i said there was another friend uh, um, that went out with them the other friend the third friend ended up going home you know they met they were um it was three three of them it was uh, christy giles it was hilda um and another another female friend that went to the underground party but only hilda and christy ended up going with um good david pierce and the and the friends so let me jump into to the um because i know you guys came for 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 the main update and uh, a lot of people a lot of people you know don't have the patience to stay for the whole stream but i understand no worries i got you so let me continue giving you guys the update here um so hollywood producer now 40 which is david pierce uh is charged with seven more counts attacks on women so um he now is being charged there's more people coming coming forward there's more women coming forward uh so he's he's charged with seven more uh, attacks on women including now uh the two counts of um the letter i mean the word r we're gonna we're gonna call it grape if that's the fruit fruits grape because you guys know youtube the way the way it is and i don't want them to take the the live stream or the video down so yeah so um so he's being charged with seven attacks on other 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 women other people uh and but now it is official that he is charged with uh the two counts of the fruit grape of killing model christy gauss 24 and her friend architect 28 um, healed up it makes me sad man i'm trying to you know hold posture here and um um just re refreshing and rereading everything so los angeles district attorney joe george gascon announced on tuesday that seven more women have come forward to claim that pierce uh, sexually assaulted them he warned in a, in a news conference that so when I say he, we're talking about uh, the D district attorney George Gascon. So he warned uh, he warned in news in a news conference that there may be others that are at where as well, urging any victim out there to come forward. So if there's more victims out there, you know, other victims of this person, David uh, Pierce, you know, um, come forward, you know, come forward. Uh, it's very sad. You know, a lot of victims don't want to come forward. But um, that way, at least you guys can get um, justice or at least, you know, get this 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 guy, you know, keep him out, out outside, the, you know, away from the streets, you know, and put him where he, be, he belongs. So 
In the meantime, Pierce is facing uh, the uh, the R word, rape, uh, sexual penetration by a foreign object. This is very fucked up, man. Uh, sodomy and sexual penetration by use of force uh, and charges. These are previous, you know, that that he's been charged from the past um, year since 2010. A uh, disclaimer, uh, I forgot to say, but as you guys know, my show is uh, podcast is 18 and over. And uh, if you have any kids around, you might not want to uh, right now, as you guys watch the live stream, you guys might not want to um, have them, you know, listen to, to this podcast at the time. So once again, you know, I apologize. And but I want to let you guys know that the podcast is uh, marked on YouTube as 18 and over. So it uh, says he is also facing uh, homicide charges in the deaths of Christy Giles and her friend Hilda, um, they were, which they were found unconscious. So there you go. So so he's being charged now. It is official. The guy is is being charged. Um, and uh, let me read the following. Okay, so this this is what, uh, what Gascon said. Uh, he said, we know that often survivors do not report sexual assault uh, for a variety of reasons, Gascon said at a news conference. Sometimes they feel the system is not going to listen to them. Sometimes they are afraid of their assailant. Sometimes they feel ashamed. And we recognize that these are all factors that that play play a role it is true man it is true it is very sad that uh the system and people sometimes they don't they don't believe uh the the, the victims when the victims come forward and um especially you know sometimes even relatives relatives don't don't it's it's sad it's, it's crazy man it's crazy you know i mean you guys you guys know i always um cover uh true crime and and and, and cases you know of of people missing or that are gone, gone gone through through stuff situations like this and, and it's it's crazy to to see that most of the people that don't believe the victims tend to be family members man and that is that is crazy if you have anyone out there man that you yeah that comes um forward to talk to you and and believe them man there's no reason especially uh, women, kids, I mean, just everyone in general. I'm not just saying specifically, but um, it seems that that it looks like, you know, for what I see that it's, it's female, especially, you know, or little kids. Sometimes, you know, um, you got to listen to your kids, man. You got to listen to your kids. It's very, very important that you do not do not ignore any signs, man, because kids um, I mean, they're they're just little kids, and, and if you let them down, if, if they come over to you and you just like, oh, you, you know, ignore them. Later on, they're not gonna they're not gonna um, come see you. You know, come try to you look for help because you are the adult. So, uh, okay, so um, that is one of the reasons we are um, here to to say to our community and certainly survivors survivors out there. That if you feel comfortable coming forward, uh, we are here for you. Gascon said Pierce is facing, here we go. So Gascon said that Pierce is facing three counts of forcible R word, the fruit grape, um, two counts of sexual penetration by foreign objects. So the, okay, so these are, these are the, the, the previous ones. Um, and I'm not, you know, you know, not trying to read them, you know, it's not like that, uh, you know, but I read them earlier. So I don't want you guys thinking like, oh, how come, you know, you're not paying attention to, 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 or talking about, you know, the other charges, you know, I've read them earlier and, um, um, so he's facing homicide charges for the deaths of Christy Giles and Hilda. Um, additionally, Pierce is facing, uh, two more felonies. Okay, so this is new. This is I did not know. I did not know about these counts. This is the um, I mean fresh article, and um, additionally, Pierce is facing two more fel felony uh, felony charges for selling or offering to sell them a controlled substance, leading up to their drug-induced homicides. So okay, so he's. 
he's being charged of, of um, you know, dealing, selling, selling them. So this, this, I guess, this is the char charge for, um, you know, that him, you know, selling, selling the drug to to Christie and to Hilda. He is now being held on a three, on a three point four million bond, and is scheduled to appear in court uh, preliminary hearing next Monday. So that is this coming Monday, um, this coming Monday. Um, and uh, if convicted of all charges, Pierce could face up to 120 years in prison. That's 120 years in prison, you know? I mean, it's... it. Man, you know, I mean, 120 years, that's, I mean, uh, that's nothing compared to, to what he did, the damage to those young ladies, to, to the family, what they're going through. Um, and also to the, the, the harm that he, he did to all the other victims, you know? Um, and yeah, justice is served. Um, I mean, I'm sure the family, this is, this is not really justice because their loved ones are gone. Christy is gone. Hilda is gone. And they will never, they're never going to, you know, have them back in their life. And, uh, but at least, at least, you know, um, he's been charged, you know, he, cause as you guys know, uh, he was trying, he was, when they caught him, they caught him. When I say him, the, the, I'm talking about, uh, David Pierce. Um, they, they caught him at the airport. He was, he was taking off. Um, he was already, you know, he, they found him with his passport and, and, and he was, um, he was trying to bounce. Let me see. I have another article right here. Um, da -da 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 -da. oh, this is the previous, the previous, um, when they caught him. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and, uh, um, to give you guys a little bit more insight of, of the case how it started and everything in the case so um uh, let me finish first with with the update on on the whole the whole case here um yeah so he you know david pierce has been charged with the murders of christy giles and hilda cabrales arzola after they were dumped found dumped at separate hospitals and um Here we go. It says uh, finally justice is coming. Um, here it mentions. Okay, so yeah, uh, let me give, give give you guys. I'm like stuttering. Let me get some water. Um, okay, so now it's the update with the other two individuals that were with um, David Pierce that day, and one of them was. Um, Brand Osborne, uh, 42, uh, an actor, has been charged with uh, acting as an accessory to the Paris murderers. So he's being charged as an accessory. And a third man, Michael Ansbach, 47, was also arrested alongside with Pierce and Osborne, but has not been charged. So we'll, we'll have to follow up that and see what's going on over there. I'll, I'll keep you guys posted. Um I'm going to keep you guys posted on what's going on. But as for now, um, David Pierce, he's being charged and his sentence is 120 years. Uh, Osborne, he's been charged with a, uh, as um, accessory to the pair's murderers. And um, we'll see what happens. The Times reported uh, the Times reported the investigators uh, got a warrant in January to search a dozen of electronics seized from the three men. Pierce was pictured partying with uh, Cabrales Arzola hours before the death. The young architect was also snapped having a good time with Giles and hunting photos depicting um, the final hours before the tragic killings. The Times reported that he and the woman had met up at the warehouse party in, a, in the LA that night. Where Corrales, uh, when Corrales text uh, Giles at 4 a.m. asking whether she wanted a co she wanted cocaine, according to a search warrant of a affidavit. affidavit. I'm sorry. Um, by 
Detective Jonathan Vander Lee. I'm in the kitchen, Corrales. So you guys know this. You know, uh, it's, it is known. I'm not trying to read this whole thing. As you guys know, um, you know, the other um, Tilda and Christy, they exchange, you know, text messages, um, you know, um, asking one, one another if they wanted, you know, a line of cocaine um, in the kitchen. Corrales responded, let's do a line. Okay. Uh, now here it talks about uh, surveillance cameras at the warehouse captured Corrales and Giles leaving the party with the three men. Pierce, Ansbach, and Osborne in Osborne's Hyundai. They were at Pierce's apartment around five. So I haven't seen that footage of them. I don't know, you know, if it's public. I don't know if it's out there. Um, so I can't show that. About twenty, uh, about into twenty minutes later, Giles texts friend, "Let's go." So this is the part, you know, tells the story right here. Once they were in the apartment, what was going on? They were partying, um, and it talks about the text messages. Uh, of Christy Giles uh, when she texted Hilda let's go alongside with a white eye emoji that's that was like saying like something happened there people don't know what happened uh Cabrales responded yes I'll call an Uber 10 minutes away according to footage car believed to be Uber arrived at the apartment and uh, then was seen leaving after uh five minutes because they didn't come out so i guess yes when something happened there um yeah that's that is that is crazy man so that's that's what happened and um i um uh, i've been following this case and I, I know i know some people are gonna be like oh man you know ray this this case is not popular it's not gonna get hits as this but i you know I've been trying to to keep people up to date uh, and this I know I just put the articles and everything and the articles are out there I'm just saying you know and um, anyone can find them anyone can read them the same way the same way I'm reading them but the only difference is that you know it takes time you know it takes time and, and uh, there's people that don't have the time to read them also too there's friends out there out there that want updates there's family um, outside the country you know uh, Hilda's family or friends that are not um maybe the, the family you know they are getting of course you know that's that's their daughter's you know um, relative they're getting the information but other people um you know it's it's a lot a lot a lot of, a lot of work and i am doing that um let me see what else it says here cameras uh, later capture pierce carrying guile's body to his prius and uh driving to a hospital okay oh, so those must have been cameras outside his house you know uh where she was left on the sidewalk this is very sad man i mean how cold how fucked up how messed up do you are are you man to do this like why why wouldn't you take this person directly to the hospital be you know what i mean or call an ambulance do something um okay so for the people that are just coming in as you guys know um um i i mean you guys are probably coming in for the case or just you guys are just getting the the notification so finally david pierce has been charged with 120 with has been charged with the deaths of christy giles and hilda cabrales and he's being charged with 120 years um Pierce uh, remained in jail since December for other charges um, when he was arrested uh, um, in December, accused of assaulting four women. Okay, so the other cases uh, that he was accused of was uh, for assaulting four women in 2010, 2019, February 2020, and October 2020. Whoa, this guy. Jeez, man. This guy was like, you know, nonstop. Um, and here are pictures of uh, Dave, David Pierce, the scene with Corrales Arzola. This was the, actually the day at the at the warehouse party, and um, man, this is very sad. This is a picture of actor. I guess he's an actor, Brandon Osborne, at the Los Angeles home where he, it, it, when it is believed, 
that the two women were fatally drugged. Osborne has been charged with acting as an accessory to the pair's murder. Okay, so that's that's him. And this is the two two young ladies, you know, uh, at the party. This this was actually the, the picture at the party. Um, I think you guys seen the video. I'm not going to play the, the video, but this is the video of them partying and dancing. And, uh, man, um, this is Eldam with, with her father. And I have, um, I've been looking, I've been looking left and right for um the video man the court from um back in i think december no there were there was see he was in court i think december then um then court i think was in in january so i haven't been able to find that video um Oh, okay. So yeah, this is the uh, one of the three. Okay, so this is the information I was, I was uh, t talking about uh, when uh, David David Pierce was found um, with his passport. So yeah, it says uh, one of the three men arrested in connection with the November overdose deaths uh, of an Instagram model and her friend um, had his passport. So this guy had his passport, you know, ready to go with thirty thousand dollars in cash. This guy was ready to bounce. Damn, this guy was like, like ready to bounce. So thirty thousand dollars in cash on him when the authorities took him and cut into custody. Los Angeles prosecutors said uh, Monday, David Pierce back then he was thirty nine had had also been researching. So they besides finding him with those thirty k and the passport, uh, they found out that he was also that he had been researching countries that do not hold extradition treaties with the United States. According to the deputy district attorney, Christine Mariano, the hearing concerned Pierce's motion to have his bail reduced uh, from, so he was trying to get his bail reduced um, from 3.4 million because that's where, what his bail was at the time. So, um, so yeah, so he was uh, arguing um, that Pierce uh, had won the cash. So okay, so so when they asked him like, "Hey man, like, what's up? You know, where'd you get all that money?" You know, the, uh, you know, they were asking Pierce. Pierce was like, David Pierce was like, "Oh man, I won that uh, during, I won that cash during a trip, recent trip to Las Vegas." Pierce also pleaded not guilty on Monday. We're talking. We're, I'm reading a, uh, an article from from you know back back in um, I think this was December. So he pleaded with him not pleading guilty of the whole thing. So yeah, man. So this guy was trying to bounce. This guy was trying to bounce. You know, and um, they they caught him. They got him with his passport, 30k. They, they, they asked him when the authorities asked him like, "Yo, what's up, dude? Like, you know, what's up with his money?" He was like, nah, nah, bro. Like, you know, I won it in Las Vegas. Right. Let me look for this video because I want to show you. I have actually the video, not the, the whole, not the whole video of. Um, let me see. Oh, this thing goes to play. My bad. That's that's the thing about these websites, you know, like they they sometimes refresh on their own. They refresh on their own and then and then they start playing next thing you know when you go to to the site okay let me hit play what the hell you gonna play or not yeah dude so man let me know in the comment section what do you think do you think um 120 years as a sentence is not enough you know, I don't think California has the death penalty. Um, now, I don't wish anybody to be dead, but when you destroy somebody's life, man, I don't, you know, like that. And not only one person, but multiple people, women, you know, because um, they set up uh, this guy abused somebody with a bottle, man. That, that is that is insane. Like what? 
kind of monster? What kind of monster is this? You know. Um, so this is the recent. Oh, is this a? Um, this is the court, but I think this was back in. Uh, um, let me see, back in December, or uh, because it says right here thirty nine. The guy is forty, or I guess he probably turned forty. Um, this past months, but um, so this. Let me see. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Okay. I'm also not taking into consideration anything having to do with those two alleged crimes that you're referring to in terms of setting bail in this particular case. Good. Okay, so I'll skip uh, that argument. If the people address that, though, I'd like the chance to, to counter of any of those facts as to his uh, uh, tendency to flee or have to show to court. Um, I want to address... Tell me any other facts that you think were... Uh, loosely, as you refer to it, argued. In the supplemental any, report? No, in the people's brief. Is there anything in the people's brief that you felt um, there, was there either were. incorrect or a stretch? Mm. Yes. First of all, the people leave out several key items and issues in their factual recitation. Uh, regarding Jane Doe number one on page two of the people's response brief, the people left out the fact that this particular uh, complaining witness was silent for 11 years in between the incidents. Regarding... ...and been completely helpless during his sexual assault. He even appears to get more confident over the years threatening his most recent victim by memorizing her family's address and threatening her family's safety if the victim tells anyone about the rape. He is even so strident as to tape this threat on video. Also, raping a woman with a wine bottle, which I assume is made of glass, is not only dehumanizing, but dangerous. So that is how I am viewing Wow. So this, yeah, this guy was out there, like, threatening people. Uh, and this guy's over here f physically, mentally, you know, um, abusing letter R, you know, woman, you know, uh, um, with bottles, inserting bottles. This guy, this this guy deserves to go to hell, man. Um, been completely helpless during his sexual assault. He even appears to get more confident over the years, threatening his most recent victim by memorizing her family's address and threatening her family's safety if the victim tells anyone about the rape. So this guy memorized this uh, one of his victims' um, family address and. And threatened, you know, was, was threatened the whole family, man. He's even so strident as to tape this threat on video. Also, raping a woman with a wine bottle, which I wine assume bottle. is made of glass, is not only dehumanizing, but dangerous. So that is how I am viewing the facts. I am considering the defense. Was knocked off the car and lost. Okay, so let me tell you, I didn't see that in the people's brief. Okay. Yeah, you can see the uh, David Pierce back here. Um, I'm gonna try to see if there's a way that I can. I, I know this uh, um, public record, so anybody can access this, uh, and uh, where I can see the whole, the whole video, the whole case, uh, and um, actually get get a hold of the, the, the official uh, case. I think you have to pay money. I'll, if you guys want me to, you know, get get the video, and I will try. You know, um, like the song says, "Money ain't a thing." <laughs> no, I'm not trying to say to say it like that, but no, I'm saying, you know. Um, no worries, you know. I mean, you guys help me, you know. You guys donate and stuff. You guys give super chat, so it doesn't really matter, you know. You guys don't have to, you know, continue to help, but it helps. So I could probably get get a hold of of, of that footage, and um, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. So that's that's the update on the whole case of Christy Giles and Hilda. And may they rest in peace. Uh, my condolences once again to the family. And man, I'm glad this guy is being charged with 120 years. And like I said, once again, man, I don't think that sentence will ever, you know, bring justice to, to the two ladies and also to the other victims. Uh, my heart goes out to the other victims and, and the suffered, uh, all that abuse, sexual abuse and, and um, this 
my, my heart goes out goes out to you guys and if there's more people out there that went through something and this guy abused you guys you know um sexually abused you guys um please step forward please step forward and it, it you know because you you deserve you deserve justice um we are activate la we broadcast live from los angeles california if you're new to our show uh do me a favor hit those thumbs up hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed you should be subscribed and um yeah man let me go to the comment section say what's up to everybody thank you guys for tuning in once again and uh, if you are just coming into the show right now and you wanted to check out the update just go back after the um after the live stream is done and and you know i give the whole details and all and um if you're watching the replay thank you so much for catching the replay do me a favor and drop a comment down in the, sec in, in the comment section below let me know what you think about the, the whole case I, uh let me know what you think um you know they he david pierce finally is charged with 120 years and uh that is that is that is crazy